YouTube and welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros here at North Country Memorials. We are so glad that you've joined us today. We're going to have a great day. It's going to be a good one. We're going to be talking about installing porcelain photos on granite and talking really about some of the finer details of caulking and making it look nice once it's securely on there. It's going to be good. Come along. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. I don't like practicing things. I like to just dive in and do it. And the problem is, is it doesn't always look well. One of the biggest complaints that we have is when we put ceramic pictures on and we want to caulk around them, um, it's not always as tidy as it ought to be. So today, I've taken a, a piece of ceramic and uh, I could have done it on a tile, I guess, but this wood is quite smooth, so Christian's questioning whether it's going to work the same on wood. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, I have black silicone because I'm getting ready to do, uh, I think Christian just showed you the one that's on the bench over there, uh, <clears throat> and I want to use black silicone on it. Um, I use black silicone, obviously, on uh, you know black granite. Like when I'm doing a bench, I'll often seal the joints with this. It just makes it look a lot better and, and uh, hopefully keeps some of the water out for a while. So I looked up on YouTube and uh, found a few tips. One thing that people do is they put their... They, they, Cut a 45 degree angle, if you can see that, and they apply their caulk, and this was with, this was with guys doing uh, uh, clear silicone. Um, they would apply that, and then they would take a spray bottle of water with a few drops of soap in it. They would spray onto the, right onto the surface, and also on their finger, and just run their finger down and it, it uh, smooths out the bead and it tends to uh, push the caulk more into the crack. So um, that's my attempt. We'll, we'll see what happens here. One of the keys when you're applying it is when you get to the end of where you're going, just maybe a quarter of an inch or less before you get to that end, stop squeezing because you're still going to have some pressure happening. So that's one thing I've found that does help. Um, all right, well, let's just look. Um, that's fair. It's not terrible. Uh, you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can see kind of ripples, and that is, that is about, it's, it's not going as fast as what, what uh, you could or should. Uh, I didn't have a spray bottle, so I just took some water, and I put a few drops of Dawn dish detergent in it. I can feel that it's just slightly slippery. Now, I did practice this on, on two pieces of wood, and I found that I was pressing way too hard and it spread out my bead. So I think with the, with the soapy water, if you go around it, uh, press lightly, the, very lightly the first time, you're probably going to get away with it being able, if you have to, you maybe go back two or three times. Okay, I can feel already that it's not... Not working. Got a little bit of residue on my finger. Probably the spray bottle on on my finger and also on that surface would probably be the best. I'm going to go a second time just to see how it goes. 
Again, just pressing lightly. It's not bad, not perfect. So what I've got here is, I think what I have is a, a, a not enough compound in to fill up the gap. And so what I ended up, I pushed in and I ended up with some, some extra on the, this surface and extra on this surface. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to cut, I'm going to recut here and, and apply a bigger amount and um, just see what I come out with. So I got to get another piece of wood. If you're careful in your application, you don't really need to use your finger. Here, obviously, in the middle, I hesitated. And uh, part of what I find is if I stay focused, <clears throat> if I'm applying, this is what I'm going to call the back edge, and this is the front, front edge. So this is trailing, this is leading. I stay focused on the leading edge, and if I've got sixteenth of an inch that's that is pushing I can see it pushing ahead on the leading edge that seems to leave uh, leave a nice bead if I go less than that then I'm running out of uh, compound and if I go more than that I'm pushing compound out to the sides what I'm going to try here is I'm happy with my bead over here I'm happy with my bead over here I'm not happy with it in the middle so I'm going to attempt to leave those parts alone and feather this and this and see if I can't come out with uh, a result that I'm happy with. I gotta turn this wood a little bit. <clears throat> Having your body in the right position is just like when I draw or when I paint, uh, I have to have my body in, the pos in a position where my hand can be relaxed. And that, a lot of times I think when we mess up on this kind of stuff, it's we're not comfortable with where we're at. All right. Second pass. And I'm going to come the other way on my third pass. That looks a whole lot better than what it does sometimes. When we were talking the other day, just basically something we're not great at. We don't do it all the time, but we do it often enough. It seems like last year we sold a number of these uh, more than normal. And so the debate is always, do we caulk or don't we caulk? Sometimes it looks better with it. Sometimes it looks better if you just leave it alone. Figured if we can practice a little, maybe we can get better at at doing it so that we can be consistent and get a better result for our customers that's the other thing is the idea. yeah if we've had complaints it's been that kind of stuff just little stuff that is like you know it's just uh gotta get the little things right gotta get the little things right but um you know if we can do a little better job at this it's the kind of thing too if we're out in the cemetery and see one that we've done that isn't quite great we could clean it up and redo it right, right. there on on spot um and uh take care of it that way but here's a question for you i haven't really 100 percent figured this out i don't know how many angels that i've dies that i've set on top of bases but it's all good and fine when you're got a straight flat you know die and you can run on you know you put your setting compound down you you trim it, it all looks good but when you got an angel and that bottom is like this right, carved uh, flowers and carved feet and, all that kind of yep. stuff and it is it is a, a pain to do it and the only thing i've figured out so far is take your time take your time yep. uh, christian doesn't like getting the phone call and he doesn't like having Especially to tell me well, you got to go back out five six seven eight nine ten thousand dollar stones 
right. I, yeah, I really don't want to get phone calls on those saying, yep. you know, hey, these, these little things weren't done right. So, uh, yeah, got to get them right. Got to get them right the first time. Dad said he had looked for a water bottle, and I was said to him, before we do the actual one, we should probably grab a water bottle. And he said he had checked these cupboards here, but he had not checked these cupboards here, and I already pulled it out. But this, <laughs> a bottle with water and soap already in it. We had it around. So he'll be able to spray, hopefully. Looks like that's going to work good. And uh, be able to do that, hopefully get a little better application. On the practice one, uh, was is too, too high for this one here. So I went and found a, another nozzle that had been used before. I pushed the silicone out of it with a, uh, I got it, I come up underneath with a screw and I screw it into it and I pulled it down and then I pushed on this end with a tiny screwdriver and happy, happy. The moment of truth, get myself comfortable. I think I can do two or three sides from this angle. I hope. The problem on this is the corners and I don't have a clear answer on corners. You can, can't see it on your camera, but I'm going to have to come back with a razor and trim. I got a little over on the bottom, but the nice thing about this is it has a black border and so that blends and just makes for a nice look. I have a little extra there, so I'm not pushing any caulk out. All I'm doing is, is using the plastic to fix the bead. The nice thing about the soapy water is if you do get a little residue on your finger, it comes off so much easier. So I'm just, I'm just using the extra water that's here and can also feel as I'm working with it, I'm kind of getting a feel with my finger for what's happening underneath it. Part of it is just getting confident that you're not making a big smear. On benches <clears throat> where I've used the caulk to, to fill in and uh, 
just to, to dress it up. That's the biggest thing it's doing is dressing up. It's also keeping water from getting in near the, uh, the uh, oh, what are we using for our joints? Berry pack. Berry pack. So the berry pack is white or gray. And so on a black bench, of course, I'm wanting to cover that up. Um, <clears throat> I have a competitor that I've always admired a lot of his work and he's not not been approachable and I wish I could sit down with it because when I look at his joints they're perfect every time and uh, why am I bringing that up part of why we do what we do is because we want to give away what we have and make life a little bit easier for other people and so yeah, if you've got somebody around you that, that wants to ask questions, just give it away. Makes life better for all of us. I need a little more paper towel. And then when this all dries, well, that's a better way. Soapy water lets you use your finger and you don't put a lot of pressure, you put a lot of pressure, you're going to start pushing silicone all over the place. So it's, it's really, it's your, your probably a, a way to describe it and a good term to use is you're feathering the edges. Think about feathering. You're just, you're not putting pressure, you're just, you're letting your finger just lightly go down over there. And you can go over it multiple times if you need to. That is uh, pretty good, probably one of the better more even caulking jobs that we've done. Uh, still room for improvement maybe. Uh, I think that uh, if we try this technique and keep working at it, we will get better at it as well. But uh, I think that's better than where we were at. So I'm happy with that. The uh, One of the things that water and soap, I had seen it done on Odd Life Crafting on his channel. Um, they were rebuilding a sailboat uh, they had tore everything apart on it, repainted it, rewired all sorts of stuff, plumbing. I mean, they really just tore it apart and went at it. So when I saw him working on windows and with silicone and stuff for resealing that stuff up, I saw him using the water and soap to kind of get his beads the way he wanted them. And so that was one of the, one of the ideas we had had. So I wanted to shout out Odd Life Crafting, great YouTube channel. Uh, really enjoy their content quite a lot. So anyways, I think this is going to be pretty good. We'll see once it dries. We might have a little trimming we need to do yet on it, but it's uh, quite a lot of the way there. So pretty happy with that. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was educational and entertaining. That is always our goal. And we will see you all next time.